Welcome back to another video, YouTube, and let's get into it quick because let's just go over every every everything you know. Uh, you guys may not know, or even if you do know, it's still important to you know all the coin making stuff. So we got Shady McCoy, Ed Tall Jones, both very good cards. Then we got George Kittle and Melvin Ingram. They're both like impossible to pull. And this is the content schedule. All Madden Part Two. They're going to be 93 overalls. This is going to be the first uh, overall jump we see. So uh, you know, be prepared for that. That means we're probably getting a pack odds boost. And we also got this Alvin Kamara. But knowing that we have this pack odds boost, first of all, all Madden Part 1, we did have a reroll in the store. And that is important to know. Because there's going to be a reroll. That means most likely, you know, that's going to be the way to get these good cards. And off the bat, these cards are going to go for, you know, a pretty hefty penny. Uh, and I would say right now, I know yesterday was a better day. I rolled so much training in these packs today didn't pull anything great i don't have that many coins left because i have a lot of training in my binder i also have a lot of you know other stuff in my binder uh but these all Madden cards are going to be 93 overalls 93 overalls are going to sell for a lot so most likely it's probably going to be like 30 85s to be honest maybe 30 86 is probably 85 so uh you know if i were to guess so what you can do is you can snipe 85s they are also the cheapest train right now a month gg at least according to them so uh you know that could be a double benefit you could just snipe them for training around like 12k or you can uh you can also snipe them you know for an investment possibly being able to go up in price because you know they could do the whole uh put 30 uh 85s in a set and you get one of the cards which immediately would you know make them rise in price a lot and uh obviously you need to be you know pretty pretty uh careful when you're buying these because you do want to get them as cheap as you possibly can and uh 85 is basically the assumption that i'm going to make 86s could also you know go into those sets but more likely than not it's gonna be 85s also something else you guys uh should do to make coins or even just to you know have fun with your team i do think these most feared cards will go up a little bit in price i know people are going to be scared of 93s and maybe there is a little bit of panic selling but with all the supply that has come into the game today due to people opening these packs for you know uh, all these rerolls i think today or even tomorrow it's not like a bad time to buy i did buy a bit there kind of like 190. i bought basically all the cards i needed for my team these cards are still really good trent williams for under 250 like he is a card that should stay around for a while uh because of that one ap edge protector miles garrett i actually picked up a 220. he rose a lot this morning he was just getting masked so like crazy uh jalen ramsey also was not a bad one and then obviously people are going to be using this carmichael card for the next like two months at Maybe not two months, but the next month, I would say. Tyree Kill is also a very good wide receiver. Has a lot more replaceability. Kyle Pitt's very good. A lot of these cards are super meta and will stay meta maybe until uh, the end of Thanksgiving promo. Uh, obviously, around zero chill, the whole meta will be absolutely changed. And we'll probably be up around 94, 95 overalls by that point. So it's going to be a lot to change in that aspect. But Carmichael's still good. He's still on a theme team. You know, he still gets solid abilities. And uh, until then, you know, there's going to be a lot of changes to the market. So make sure you pick up the 92s that you want for your team. Maybe even snipe them. Just, you know, play a few games with them. And they'll probably go up a little bit. Uh, when it comes to LTD investing, I don't really see a huge purpose in investing in these LTDs. Uh, Tyron Matthew actually crashed a little bit. But Melvin Ingram, unless he gets like around that 450 mark, I think he's solid. But... I just don't think he moves the needle. And then with George Kittle, they're just a little too expensive for my liking. They probably will go up just because LTDs go up in general. So if you can get a good price for them tomorrow, I think that that's okay and you should do it. But, uh, you know, otherwise, you know, it's not insanely necessary to invest in these LTDs. I think that, you know, there's a way better chance the Team of the Week LTDs get coins ready for that tomorrow. And you invest in some of these guys because the Team of the Weeks fluctuate crazy amount this 92 Devonch deandre campbell or devondre campbell was going for like 200k on tuesday and the next day he was already up to 300 the team of the week i would say is a huge opportunity to make coins this kevin byard i bought mine for like 425 he was sitting for like 420 for like the first like hour and uh you know now he's up to 500k so i'm probably gonna cash out a lot of coins because i need to make a lot of coins tomorrow uh i don't have a lot of coins right now because uh obviously i have everything basically invested into training invested into other things so, uh, you know, I'm trying to get a little bit liquid tonight and be prepared for Team of the Week tomorrow because Team of the Week is always one of the best days to make coins along with sniping these 89 overall Team of the Week cards. They go down to like around 75K and uh, obviously it's not training, 
but they are very good. Uh, as you can see right now, they're at least 85 to 90K, most likely around 90. But uh, you know, you can even build some of the sets and make profit on that rather than just putting them in. Um, I mean, this is a relatively, you know, simple method just buy the 89s as cheap as you possibly can for around 75k hold them for like a few days sell them for 95 90k or build one of the sets you know there's so many ways to make coins throughout the week and same thing with this aka i do think that you can buy uh you know aka cards for around 45k i do not think it's a bad investment people are going to be completing team diamonds and they're going to continuously complete them and uh 88 overalls are just semi-rare and you can even select these for even less too if you can get them for 42 40 40k i mean that is great uh training value not only you know great value for an investment i can guarantee you guys we'll be able to sell these guys for 55k tomorrow with lazy selling because uh you know these guys are super in demand 88 overalls that go into team builder sets and obviously you know john elway is the best card in the game uh and it's just a proven fact you know, I don't really have too much more to say. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe. I'm going to try to get into more like content stuff. But uh, until that time, we're just going to keep going on with the market and making coins. There hasn't been any crazy sets recently or any crazy rerolls or anything. So I'm hoping that we get some like insane content like Team Diamonds. Team Diamonds is an easy way to make tons of coins. And, uh, you know, other than that, it's just pretty, pretty much the boring ways of making coins. Checking through sets, maybe doing some here or there. And uh, yeah. That's all I have for you guys. Peace out.